In all of Sonic collecting, there are a few select items that instantly get every collector's attention. Items held with such high regard that anyone would do anything to have them in their collection. One such item is the Sonic Adventure 2 Soap Shoes Sonic the Hedgehog plush. First released in 2001, this plush has become one of the most legendary Sonic plushes of all time. He's got everything. He's unique, he's based off of a specific popular game, he looks great, and everybody wants him. The thing that makes this plush unique is his shoes. They're soap shoes. During the development of Sonic Adventure 2, Sega signed a deal with the then popular shoe company Soap, which allowed for soap branded advertisements to be seen in the game. The largest of these advertisements was of course that Sonic himself would be shown in-game wearing a pair of the shoes. Being based off of Sonic Adventure 2, the plush features Sonic in the elusive footwear. The soap shoes would go on to be only featured in Sonic Adventure 2, thus meaning the only merchandise to show Sonic in the shoes would be the ones promoting the game. As of right now, this plush is the only plush of Sonic in these shoes, which causes the plush to be insanely demanded. Now, I've already made a video about the entire Sonic Adventure 2 plush set, however there's one thing I neglected to mention in that video, that thing being that the Sonic plush in the set was actually re-released many times, more times than many people think. So, in this video, I'll be documenting and explaining the many releases of this famous plush throughout the years. With all that said, let's begin. Let's start with, what else, the original release of this plush. To promote Sonic Adventure 2's release, this set of 5 plushes were released in Japan. This is the Sonic Adventure 2 plush set, a set that includes Sonic, Tails, Shadow, Rouge, and a Hero Chow. As was the case with many Japanese plush sets released during this time, the plushes were released exclusively in UFO catchers. The only way to get this release of the Soap Shoe Sonic plush would be to win it out of the machine. Outside of Japan, the plush was also available on many import sites. Thanks to this archived Sonic Stadium article, we can see that if you were online in 2001, June 10th, 2001 to be exact, you could have pre-ordered a Soap Shoe Sonic plush, as well as the rest of the Sonic Adventure 2 plush set, for $15 each off of a site called WYSIWYG. These plushes were at one point available for $15 each. That's right, the entire set could have been yours for only $75. Where were you on June 10th, 2001, and why were you not on WYSIWYG.com, ordering your $15 Hero Chow plush? Sadly, of course, you can no longer find these plushes on import sites, let alone for that price. But my point is they were available through them for some time, so those outside of Japan did have the chance to get them. The plushes immediately blew fans away with how detailed, accurate, and simply cool they were. They became highly sought after, and to this day continue to hold quite a high price point when up at auction. I should point out that I do think the Soap Shoe Sonic plush is one of the best representations of Sonic in plush form, and it's probably my personal favorite. Seriously, if you look at its face, its spikes, its body, it's all just perfect. This release of the plush came with a gold hangstring on its head, as well as a Sonic Adventure 2 branded tag. I really like how this tag looks. It's got the Sonic Adventure 2 artwork of Sonic and Shadow, the game's logo, and even the Sonic 10th anniversary logo on it, which is something most merchandise from the time had. Not only does the tag look really nice, but it's also the best way you can tell apart this release of the plush from the other releases of the plush we'll get into shortly. Yes, for whatever reason, this plush was remade and re-released several times after its initial release. This original release is the one most people think about when talking about this plush, but there are many other versions of it out there, so let's move on to those. Before we get into the other releases of the plush, I think this is worth including here. This is a prototype of the original plush. It, along with the rest of the set, were shown off at an event in 2001 held by Sega and some other companies to showcase future arcade prize releases. Thankfully, we do have archived images of the prototypes. Funnily enough, Sonic is actually the least interesting of these prototypes. I'm sure the Sonic has some differences compared to the final release, but overall it looks pretty similar. The other characters on the other hand? Shadow has a very interesting looking mouth and his spikes look less refined. Tails looks pretty similar, but his eyes seem smaller. The Hero Chow has tons of differences, such as his eyes appearing to not be made of plastic, as well as its highlights being in different places. Rouge is definitely the most different of them all though. Her eyes are closer together, her eyelash details are slightly more pronounced, her mouth has more detail to it, and her wings are a much lighter color compared to the final plush. It's so cool to get a look at the early forms of merchandise like this. But of course, the question must be asked, where could these be now? Honestly, I have no idea. I highly doubt any of these will ever resurface, but they are still cool to see. They could be in Sega's archives, but if not, they're probably long gone. 
someone at Sega must have realized, wait a second, that Soap Shoe Sonic plush? Yeah, that's the greatest Sonic plush we're ever going to make. Let's release it a bunch of times. And that's exactly what they did. However, the second release of the plush we're going to be looking at isn't too far off from the original. In Japan, there's an event held known as the World Hobby Fair. It's an event that showcases many new toys, video games, and stuff like that coming out soon. And in 2002, Sega attended the event, and at their booth they showcased Sonic Adventure 2 Battle and Sonic Advance. The booth was decked out with cutouts of the characters, people in Sonic and Shadow mascot costumes, displays showcasing the games, and kiosks where you could play the games. It looked to be overall a pretty fantastic event. However, at their booth, Sega had a couple of interesting Sonic plushes lying around. And they weren't just any Sonic plushes, they were Soap Shoe Sonic plushes. But wait, they weren't just leftover stock of the SA2 release of the plush, these were new Soap Shoe Sonic plushes made with a new tag. This was the first re-release of the Soap Shoe Sonic plush. And you know, the event apparently took place on January 1st, 2002, so that wasn't even six months after the original release of the plush. So how does this release of the plush compare to the original? Well, it's actually pretty much the same. The only noticeable differences can be found on the tag. Tags. The tag is the main draw to this release. It has Sonic Advance artwork, and the logo on it just says Sonic. It isn't even the full logo, that's pretty strange. The tag still has general copyright information and stuff like that though. The touch tag is also different. No longer is it detailing Sonic Adventure 2, but instead it's replaced by a more generic not for resale tag. Actually, yeah, this release was only available at this event. It was never released in UFO catchers, nor could you find it at least easily outside of Japan. It was solely a giveaway at this event, and I I'm not entirely sure how it was even given away. It could have been a simple you show up to the event and you get one for free, but it also could have been a lottery or giveaway prize that only a select few got. I'm not entirely sure. I should also mention these. These are inflatable chow that they had at the event alongside Soap Shoes Sonic. It's a basic inflatable chow that can hang onto stuff like your arm, poles, and stuff like that. It's a pretty great item. And unlike Soap Shoes Sonic, it was never given out at any other event. As far as I can tell, it was exclusive to this one. But really, that's it to this release. It only ever showed up at this event, and it's pretty obscure. However, it's not nearly as obscure as the next Soap Sonic release we'll be taking a look at. The year is 2003. Soap Sonic has been out for around a year or two by now. Sonic Adventure 2's old news, with everyone's eyes now on the upcoming release of Sonic Heroes. Well, as it turns out, and this sounds really crazy, but if you were lucky enough to live in Korea at the time of Sonic Heroes' release and pre-ordered the game, you could have gotten the Soap Shoe Sonic plush for free, as a pre-order bonus. Wait, what? I couldn't believe this when I first heard about it. You're telling me the coolest Sonic plush, the one everyone wants, was a pre-order bonus at one point? That's insane! What's even crazier is that this release of the plush does actually have some noticeable differences compared to the other releases of the plush. The actual base plush is basically the same. It does seem like there may have been some differences in its construction and how it was made, but the overall plush is roughly the same. However, there are some slight differences, the most noticeable of these being the eyes. For whatever reason, they're placed upside down. See how his eye shine is towards the bottom? Yeah, it shouldn't be like that. While the actual plush is still pretty similar compared to the other releases of the plush, the tags are extremely different. The paper tag for the plush is very basic. It's rectangular, with a Sonic Heroes logo on it, but it's not the full Heroes logo, it's a simplified version of it. With the Sonic Team head next to it, it's very odd looking, but cool to see. I'm not sure what the back of the tag has on it, if anything. We don't have any pictures of it. Given the lack of detail on the front of the tag, I wouldn't be surprised if there actually was nothing on the back of it. The touch tag for this release is also very different compared to the other releases, this time having info on the distribution of this plush. I'm just so baffled that this even exists. Outside of this one piece of early concept art which itself just uses previous Sonic art, Soap Shoe Sonic wasn't featured in Heroes at all, and it's not like they had old stock of this plush that they needed to get rid of. This release of the plush has new tags and the strange eyes proving it's a new release of it. They chose to make Soap Shoe Sonics for Sonic Heroes, only in Korea. Yeah, this is really strange. Since this plush had such a little known and short release, this may actually be the rarest variation of the Soap Shoe Sonic plush. In fact, these images of it that I found were uploaded in 2004, around when the plush first came out. Who knows how many of them are still in good condition nowadays. There was a recent Yahoo Japan auctions listing of the plush, however it lacked a paper tag. Whatever the case, this is certainly the most interesting release of this plush. The fourth and final release of the plush we'll be taking a look at is pretty similar to the World Hobby Fair release of the plush we've already looked at. 
here it is. Once again, the plush itself is the same, but its tag is different. This time the tag features more standard art of Sonic, as well as a full logo. The back of the tag reads not for sale, showing that this too was released only as a promotional plush. The tags also attach to the plush using a gold string around its hand, and not the more standard wire that's been used on the other releases of the plush. I'm not entirely sure when this plush was first released. I want to say sometime in the mid-2000s, but I can't find anything to verify that. What makes this release of the plush interesting is less the plush itself, and more the amount of times it's appeared throughout the years. I'm sure the plush was available sometime in the mid-2000s, but one of the more recent appearances of the plush was in 2011. Yes, Soap Shoe Sonic plushes have been given away as recently as that. In 2011, for the 20th anniversary, Sega Joy Palace held a lottery contest in which they gave away a Sonic prize pack to 20 special winners. The prize pack contained a pretty large Sonic bag, a set of what I believe are Sonic stickers, what appears to be a Sonic lanyard, this weird inflatable Sonic wristband that's just Sonic's head, it has absolutely no purpose, but there you go. And finally, in this prize pack, the winners received a Soap Shoes Sonic plush. Going off of this promo image for the giveaway, the Soap Shoe Sonic wasn't a new re-release, but instead is the later promotional release with the more generic tag. This giveaway seemed to be the first time we saw Soap Sonic be given away or used by Sega in a very long time, but it certainly would not be the last. We would go five years without seeing the Soap Shoe Sonic plush again, but in 2016, it finally made another appearance. 2016 being Sonic's 25th anniversary was a year full of promotions and special events celebrating the anniversary. One of those events took place at Sega Joy Palace. On June 23rd, 2016, Sega held a special party at Joy Palace to celebrate the anniversary. The entire event was live streamed and there was a decent amount of stuff that came out of it. It was where Project Sonic 2017 was first announced by that name, it was where we got a good look at tons of previously unseen character concept art, and it was also where Soap Shoe Sonic made yet another appearance. To promote Mario and Sonic at the Rio 2016 Olympic Games, the game was played at the event. Four lucky fans were picked to play the game live on stage and compete against each other. In the end, it wasn't all that special. However, for playing the game, the fans were given free Sonic plushes. But these weren't any Sonic plushes. These were new, mint condition, bagged, and tagged Soap Shoe Sonic plushes. Just for playing Mario and Sonic, they got free Soap Shoe Sonic plushes. That's pretty crazy. It appears the plush the fans received was the later promotional release of the plush with this tag and this release of the plush would continue to show up even more in the coming months. One of the more out there promotions for the 25th anniversary was the opening of temporary cafes in Japan themed after Sonic. This is decently common in Japan. Series like Kirby have also done similar limited branded cafes. But there was something interesting to the Sonic one. Towards the end of 2016, two separate Sonic cafes opened. However, both of them were pretty much the same, so I'll be treating them as such. The cafes weren't anything too special. As it turns out, the cafes were more noteworthy for the things they brought besides their food. Lots of neat merchandise was given out there, such as special game and character themed coasters and stickers, as well as a special compilation CD that contained many tracks from Sonic's history. However, the most interesting merchandise topic to come from the cafe was something you couldn't even buy. And if you've been following along with this video so far, you know exactly where I'm going with this. Decorating the entire cafe was what seemed to be an endless supply of Soap Shoes Sonic plushes. They had like 40 plus Soap Shoes Sonic plushes just hanging out in the cafe. So you know, as you're chowing down on your Shadow the Hedgehog burger at the Sonic cafe, you could just look up and you'd see tons of Soap Shoes Sonic plushes. Of course, my first instinct was, wait a second, are these for sale? I mean, they clearly have enough of them, they probably could be for sale, but no. All of these, purely for display. Being a temporary pop-up cafe, the Sonic cafes eventually closed. This is unfortunate because not only does it mean that you can no longer order your chocolate chip ice cream sundae supreme, but it also means all 40 plus Soap Shoe Sonic plushes went back into Sega's internal storage, and we had no idea when or if they would ever show up again. But then, of course, they did. The Sonic Cafe established the fact that Sega has tons of Soap Shoe Sonic plushes in storage. It was only a matter of time before they showed up again after the cafe closed. I mean, they had all of those lying around, they'd of course use them again in the future. And that's exactly what they did. 
On May 17, 2017, Sega of Japan posted a trailer teasing the future of their company, establishing their new amazing Sega brand. And guess what? In that very trailer, the Soap Sonic plush made an appearance. The trailer basically goes through what Sega does, and one of the things that Sega does is produce arcade prizes, as well as the machines used to win said arcade prizes. Well, to show that aspect of the company, there's a scene in which three women are shown playing a UFO catcher, and inside the machine are tons of Soap Shoe Sonics. And yes, they do win one. I know this and the Sonic Cafe are less releases of the plush and more just appearances of it, but I feel these are still interesting enough to document because really it's just so weird. How is it that Sega has all of this old stock of a promotional plush from years ago? It's interesting that they would hold on to these for so long and then start using them long after they were initially manufactured. The amazing Sega trailer was released only in May of 2017, so who knows if or when we'll see Soap Shoes Sonic again. I wouldn't be surprised. So, in conclusion, the Soap Shoe Sonic plush was first released in UFO Catchers in 2001 to promote Sonic Adventure 2. Then it was used as a giveaway promotional item for a World Hobby Fair Sega booth in early 2002. Then it was a pre-order bonus in Korea for Sonic Heroes in late 2003. Then it was made again as a promotional plush. And that promotional plush has been used as a giveaway item in 2011, a prize to those who played Mario and Sonic at a Joy Paulus 25th anniversary event in 2016. It was used as a display item in both Sonic cafes in 2016. And finally, it appeared as an example UFO prize in a 2017 Sega brand trailer. That's a lot of appearances for just one plush, and it's so interesting to look at it all. Of course, the Sonic plush that everyone wants is the one that's been used so often by Sega. Actually, everyone always thinks of Soap Shoe Sonic as this incredibly rare Sonic plush, and while yes, it pretty much is that, there's no denying that there has to be quite a lot of them out there, despite them having different tags, or the fact that a lot of them are being used internally by Sega. I'd say my favorite release of the Soap Shoe Sonic plush is still the original with the Adventure 2 tag. I guess it's just kinda weird to have a plush so closely linked to the game to not have a tag specifically for it. I'm looking forward to the next time Soap Sonic appears, because they still have all of the ones that were used at the cafe and in the amazing Sega trailer, so who knows what they'll eventually end up doing with them. Will they hold more giveaways for them? Will they continue to be used in promotional material? Who knows? But I'll be sure to keep an eye out for Soap Sonics at future Sega events.